Hi Sequels friends, it's the start of a new month and you know what that means. It's time to talk about August sales. So I'm gonna share with you my top bolo items that made me over $20, along with how my sales were based on platform and by category. So if you wanna know what sold for a part-time reseller on Poshmark, eBay, and Etsy, just keep watching. Hi Sequels friends! It is so, so wonderful to be here and thank you so much for tuning in. It has been quite a while since I posted a video. This summer has not been good for me at all. The theme of my summer as well as this August sales video is if you don't put in the work, you don't get the results. I am not putting in the same amount of work between traveling, just summertime in general, having that getaway feeling, on top of doing some extra things for our other business, and on top of applying for uh, jobs, I just have not made a lot of time for my reselling business. And given that August has just passed, I know that it is time to really jumpstart because I do not want to miss out on fall and holiday sales. And going along with neglecting my business, I've completely neglected my YouTube. I just have not been on top of it. It has taken definitely a back seat to things, but I am happy to announce that I have a whole bunch of videos in the can, so to speak, and um, I just came up with a brainstorm of ideas to try to do some different things for you, as well as some of those things that you guys love, like unboxings and the like. So I have not said this yet because this video is gonna be so discombobulated being it's my first video back in a while, but if you are new here, my name is Heather and I am a part-time reseller on Poshmark, eBay, and Etsy. And I use this YouTube channel to kind of document my journey. August net sales came in at $973.22. Again, not too shabby, nothing to be upset about for a part-time reseller, but it is dipping back down. So throughout the summer, I have slacked and my sales dipped down. And then I feel guilty and my sales, and I work hard and my sales dip back up. And then I slack and my sales come back down. So we're having this fun little roller coaster ride and I am on the down slope again. That is a 24, no, a 27% decrease to July's numbers, which came in at 1,013. $1,339.81. Now I did sell less units, which stands to make sense since I sold, made less money, and I ended up selling just 50 units to the 70 units. So while my sales took a fairly decent nosedive, my unit sales only decreased by 16.7%. Now on the plus side, my ROI shot right up. Who would have thunk it? And my ROI came in at 72%, which I do believe is one of my, if not my highest ROI year to date um, versus last month's 63. And along with that ROI, my average sale price increased and I'm up to, not by much, but it increased. And considering I've been slacking and things have been shitty. I'm gonna pat myself on the back for the good things. And that increased to 1946 versus last month's 1942. Ooh, a whopping four cents. <laughs> All right, let's get to my handy dandy charts that I love to share with you guys where I break down the categories that performed the best for me as well as the platforms. This was an interesting month as most all of my categories were fairly flat. Um, home did very well, but there is an outlier in there, which you'll see when I go over my best selling items. And then also sweaters are picking up for me, which is fun to see that people are getting excited about holiday dressing, which I'm excited about because I have a shit ton of sweaters and coats that I have already sourced in the warmer months. So I am ready for you. Come and get them. Overall by platform. Poshmark is still rocking and rolling. I am doing 36% of the unit sales on 33% of the dollars, which is great. eBay, sometimes I just cannot figure out eBay. My eBay is nose diving, man. I thought it might be my promotional strategy, so I went back and bumped up to 7% on most all things. Um, 
I've done that where you kind of um, relist all of your items. I ran, I'm ran. i running sales for Labor Day, which I have not run a sale in a long time because it doesn't usually pop up my sales, but I tried it anyways because I am desperate. And I am really good about ending items and selling similar. So I don't know what the heck's going on. And I tend to not think that it's product because I have no problem moving this product on Poshmark. So I don't know what it is and it may be time for me to kind of deep dive into that a little bit. Or probably over the next month, I'm just gonna focus on listing and see if that helps any. Etsy came in at 12% of the units on 11% of the sales, not too shabby. I had eight whopping Etsy sales last month. Things are starting to pick up over there on Etsy and that is good to see. And the garage door is closing. And on Facebook, I had 4% of the sales on 16% of the dollars because I sold some high dollar items from around the home. So let's get into the bolos. In the order that they have sold, we are going to talk about all of the items that netted me over 20 bucks and I am considering these bolo items. So if you want to net over 20 bucks, then be on the lookout for these. This is a vintage Leslie Bay dress, a belted dress, very 80s secretary chic, and I sold this on eBay for $41.99, and that price does include shipping, and I ended up netting $28.15 after cost of goods and eBay fees and shipping costs. This Lauren Ralph Lauren color block shift dress, I ended up selling this for $35 on Poshmark. I took an offer. And I picked this up at the Goodwill bins, so no cost of goods. And I ended up making $25.58 after the 92 cent cost of goods and Poshmark fees. This Liz Sport Argyle sweater, this is vintage from the 90s. Um, I picked this up in the bin. I sold this on Poshmark for the full asking price of $29 and ended up netting $22.28 after cost of goods. These Gianni Benny black leather ankle boots, so, so cute. Very 90s, 2000s silhouette, which we all know is really making a comeback and trending, especially for the upcoming fall. Um, I had these listed at $49. I've had them since March. So when somebody offered me $38 for them, I was happy to accept it. And I ended up netting $26.48 after cost of goods, and I did pick these up at my local Salvation Army. Um, two skirts, uh, I sold the first one, which is this floral midi, first option two. I didn't even have cost of goods on this because like I said, it came out of my closet. I sold it for $29 and netted $22.82 after Etsy fees and shipping costs. And this Corette cottagecore midi skirt, I believe I got this at Goodwill during my travel to thrift black um, mountain segment and I ended up selling this one for $39 and netted $20.07 after cost of goods and Etsy fees and shipping. Um, New with tags, men's Levi's 501 button fly jeans. These came in my DIY thread up denim box. I sold these on Poshmark. We went back and forth a bunch of times. I had them listed for 49. I ended up taking an offer for 30 because I got to the point where I was like, I'm gonna make 20 bucks on them. They came in a DIY box. Just take it and help the damn algorithm. But these pants are like brand new. Um, and I ended up netting 21.13 after cost of goods of platform fees. This beautiful vintage um, silver plate butterfly tongs. These are so cool, a great wedding gift. I got these in one of those uh, Goodwill auction site buy of me buying something that I knew nothing about so that I had to research it and I was so discouraged by this buy I didn't even do a video on it and that was a big fail because I have really been making my money back on this um, they were listed for $49 I sold them on eBay for $55.99 that includes shipping and ended up netting $37.76 um, but you may see these in an upcoming video because I did end up accepting a return on them as they did not fit their needs, which is so hard for me. 
But again, when my returns are less than 1%, I can't complain. Just take that return, move on. If one person liked it, hopefully somebody else will like it. Maybe these will sell during holiday. Um, this Anye, Anye sells really well for me and I have a honey hole where I always pick up a bunch of Anye bags. This one um, I ended up selling on Poshmark. I had it listed for 59 but I took an offer for 40 the things you do when sales are slow, and I still ended up netting $28.01, so nothing to complain about at all. I love this vintage dress. I've had it since January. It is a 60s, really boho peasant dress um, that I picked up at the Salvation Army, if I remember correctly, and I paid up for it at $9. I originally had it listed for $79, but my low was $49. So when they offered me $54, I happily accepted it, and I ended up making $34.20 after cost of goods and platform threes. I believe these hush puppies came from a Joe Mart shoebox, pre-loved shoebox that I was not excited about at all. I call it the basic bitch box because everything was boring and basic and bread and butter and not exciting at all. But I have got to tell you, I'm so excited to do a recap on this because I really think I made some money. These hush puppies I sold on Poshmark. I had them listed for $34. That was my high. Was not expecting to get that. Was happy to get at least 20 bucks for them. They ended up selling for full asking price and I netted $22.58 after everything was said and done. Loved this limited black wrap dress. Put it online in um, July. It sold within a month. I had it listed for $39. I took a little bit of an offer. It looks like um, a 15% off, so off offer to watcher most likely for $42.14, that includes the shipping, and I ended up netting $24.35 after shipping and cost of goods. That was a dress from Goodwill. Here is the items from my house, one of them. It is a bike rack, got a new car, don't need this bike rack anymore. So I ended up, um, it was on my truck, so I ended up putting it up on Facebook. It's been up for quite a while. It's been up since May. Um, and I ended up, I listed it for 100, but was hoping to get at least 50, and ended up selling for $70. This is a really cute vintage vest. Again, vests are going to be trending for fall. I think it's mostly in knitwear, but you are seeing a lot of layering and a lot of menswear inspired, and I think this vest goes with that. This was a vintage Jolly Jumbuck leather vest made in the USA in Jackson Hole, Wyoming, and I ended up getting this in my Jomar Viscose Girl Sweater Weather Box, which I loved, had a great selection of items in it. Um, and I ended up selling this for full asking price of $69 and netted $49.06. So this is a weird one that doesn't really go in, but I ended up selling, helping my partner sell his used car. I was promised that I would get 30% of the sales of anything that was over $2,000. Basically all I did was make the listing, renew it, and hit it's available about 50,000 times during the um, month and a half, two months it was listed. I sold it for 2,300, so that was 300 over the agreed upon $2,000, so I ended up making $90 on that sale. Here's another one from around the house. I listed this one on Facebook Marketplace for $75, took an offer of 60. They came to the house to pick it up, so that's $60 cash, and it sold in just eight days. A vintage Raffaella black skirt, total dark academia vibes, very, very cute, and I ended up getting it for 99 cents at a Salvation Army sale. I sold this for full asking price on Etsy, and I ended up netting $20.17 after shipping fees, cost of goods, and the like. These Not Your Daughter's Jeans, the Alina Ankle Patchwork Pants, I bought these on Poshmark a couple of years ago. I have worn the heck out of them, and I do not pull them out of my closet anymore. Um, so I decided to go ahead and put them up for sale. I listed them for $39, I took an offer for $25, and I netted exactly $20. Did not expect that to happen on those. Um, let's see. These HKA 
cottagecore florida uh floral bermuda kind of dress um shorts trouser shorts I was so in love with these when I found them um, at Goodwill and I sold them on Etsy. Yes, Etsy again. For what? Full asking price of $39? Hell yeah! And I ended up netting $27.32 after cost of goods and platform fees. This had been at the Salvation Army for like the last three of my trips and now it was on um, special for only 99 cents, I had to pick it up. Clutches are kind of a harder sell, but this just to me goes with the vibe of fall with the midi skirts, the tall boots, and the clutch. Very 70s inspired. Um, I ended up selling this on eBay, took an offer or sent an offer to a watcher for a 31.64 that does include shipping and I ended up netting after shipping and platform fees 22.07. And this sweater I have had since December of last year. It killed me that it did not sell. This is a beautiful quality gorgeous Tiger of Sweden wool sweater in a very wearable medium size. I got this at Salvation Army paid up at Salvation Army for me of $5.99. I had it listed for $69. If you see this brand, Tiger of Sweden Wool Sweaters, they retail for $250 plus, so I was happy to pick it up for $5.99. I ended up taking an offer on Poshmark of $59 and netted $41.21. Pretty damn excited about that. That is where we are for August. I would love to hear how your August went. I'm hoping you aren't slacking like me and you actually did put in the work and so you did see the results. So brag on yourself below because I would love to hear from you. And then also, if you haven't done so already, please do consider hitting that subscribe button. Your shares, likes, subscriptions, not only really mean the world to me and warm my heart every time I see a little notification pop up, but it absolutely does help the algorithm. It does help one of my goals, which is to try to be monetized by the end of the year, which we'll see where I get with that considering I have been on a summer slack down. So thank you guys so, so much for tuning in. I really appreciate each and every one of you. I will see you on Friday with a new video. So have a great week, everybody. Bye.